What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and achieving at least one of your goals today. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the 2024 Volvo XC60 B5 Plus Dark Theme. Huge thank you to Mike C over at Don Buyer Volvo Cars of Dulles, Virginia for allowing me to do this video for you guys today. If you are interested in this particular XC60 or any Volvo product, I'll be sure to have Mike's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. Today started off a little bit cloudy, but it has transitioned into an absolutely beautiful blue sunny sky day with a little bit of a breeze and the perfect temperature to end off the day right. But just like I always do, first let's talk about the exterior and the performance. So. Like I said, this is a 2024 Volvo XC60 B5 Plus dark theme, and this particular one has been painted in thunder gray. But let's start over here at our headlights. So as standard with the Plus, you get LED headlights with automatic high beams and active bending lights. You also get LED daytime running lights and LED fog lights integrated nicely into the bottom of your front bumper. But back up to these headlights here, this particular Plus has been optioned with the $750 climate package. And that climate package gives you these headlight washers. So you may have been asking, you know, what are those little cutouts right there for? And that is for your headlight washers that come apart of the climate package. Package. But like I just mentioned, this one is the dark theme. So what you get with the dark theme is this gloss black mesh grill with your Volvo logo located at the center of that. Just beneath your Volvo lettering is where you will find your forward facing camera. That forward facing camera works with your 360 degree view camera system that comes standard with the plus. And then what also comes standard with the plus safety wise are these six forward facing sensors. I'll point those out now. So that's one, two, that's three and then obviously you get another three on this side as well but back into the dark theme you get glo uh, gloss black lower grill as well as gloss black outer grills and then you get a gloss black trim piece that connects the lower grill to both of the outer grills and then if you were wondering about the ground clearance of the xc60 plus you get eight and a half inches of ground clearance but working our way down the side I love this little fender crease. I mentioned this in the video I just did with the S60 dark theme. It just adds an element of design that I think really just adds to the look of the XC60. I think it makes it look very, very sporty in collaboration with all the black accents throughout the vehicle. Working our way into our wheel and tire setup, these are the optional $800 20-inch 5-Y-spoke black diamond cut wheels, and they are wrapped in 255-45 Continental Cross Contact Tire. This is the one optional wheel that you can get with the Plus. The other wheels are um, the standard wheels, so I'll put the picture of those on screen now, and then I'll also show you the tread pattern on those tires as well. Now let's do a little three-quarter front shot there. There you go. And then working our way into these side view mirrors. You get gloss black mirror caps with integrated turn signals. These side view mirrors are heated, power folding, auto dimming. You get your blind spot monitoring on the upper left hand side of your driver side mirror and on the upper right hand side of your passenger side mirror. And then all the way at the bottom of your side view mirrors, you'll find a little camera. That camera again works with your 360 degree view camera system that comes standard with the plus now here's a little side profile shot of the xc60 dark theme so starting from the top and working our way to the bottom you get gloss black roof rails as you can see on screen now as well as gloss black window trim you also get body color door handles with illumination and keyless access so you get a little light right there basically to illuminate the door handle at night to make it a little bit easier to grab onto you know when it's dark outside but i also really like that really aggressive rocker panel at the bottom of the side profile of the xc60 but Working away from up here to the bottom, body color shark fan antenna. You also get a body color roof spoiler as well as LED taillights. You also get chrome badging back here as well. Just beneath your second V over here is where you will find your backup camera. That backup camera obviously also works with your 360 degree view camera system. You also get a hands-free lift gate. This never works whenever I try to do a video, uh, but obviously whenever I do this and I'm not doing uh, a video, it always works. But for some reason, every single time that I do a video, it never works. But as soon as I turn the camera off, it'll work. 
it always happens to me. I don't know why it works out that way, but it's just the way it is. This particular one has also been optioned with the $200 power lift gate. So find your L right there, put your hand underneath here. You'll feel for a little pad, pull up on the pad and the power lift gate will open up. This vehicle has also been optioned with the $760 protection package. And what you get with that package is this brushed aluminum bumper protector here, as well as these all weather floor mats. You also get an all weather cargo liner and this first aid kit right here. Underneath all of that is where you'll find your spare tire. Let me just grab onto this and open it up. And then you got your spare tire, your jack, and all the necessities to change a tire if forbid you end up getting a flat tire. Then you can also open that up and you can send your skis through there if you wanted to. I also got to push down that center fold down armrest and then you can see, you can send your skis through there if that is what you wanted to do. And really, other than this light over here, that's kind of about it for what we got going on here in the trunk area. So if I press that button, the power lift gate will begin to drop. However, I do have a couple more things I wanted to mention while we were at the back. You get two reflectors. You get one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. You also get another six sensors back here as well. And then you get a gloss black rear valence, no exhaust tips. Volvo did away with exhaust tips in 2022. And then last but not least, I wanted to open up the fuel door and let you know that premium fuel is required. I know many people who have a premium fuel required vehicle that fill their vehicles up with regular, but you can see you do have an octane requirement. Thought I might point that out. I'm not telling you, you gotta put premium in it. Uh, do whatever you want to at your own risk. I'm not responsible for anything, but let me know what you think of the 2024 XC60 B5 Plus dark theme in the comments section down below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you like the Chrome better? Let me know in the comments down below. But with that stuff out of the way, let's move into performance. Popping open that hood reveals that two liter turbo four cylinder that works with a 48 volt mild hybrid system. Total output is 247 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. It is mated to an eight speed automatic transmission for a zero to 60 time in six and a half seconds. If you were wondering about fuel economy, you can achieve 23 miles per gallon in the city, 28 miles per gallon on the highway for 25 miles per gallon combined with all wheel drive. And considering the kind of pep that this vehicle has when you're driving it down the road, I think those fuel economy numbers are really, really good. But if you're enjoying the video so far today, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm now on my journey to 100,000 subscribers and I cannot get there without your support. So if you've taken anything from this video, if you've enjoyed this video in any sort of capacity, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. But with that stuff out of the way, let's move into the interior. Moving on into the interior, like I mentioned a little bit ago in the video, you do get keyless access. All you gotta do is make sure you have your key fob in your pocket, walk up to the vehicle, put your hand behind the door handle, and the vehicle will unlock. You can tell the vehicle unlocks when the door opens, but also when the side view mirrors come out. And then you can also lock the vehicle by running your finger across that little square box right there. And then you get that nice little exotic sounding beep and the side view mirrors fold in, and that is how you tell that the vehicle is locked. I wanted to show you a couple of the functions on the key fob, starting from the top, you have your lock function, middle button is your unlock function, all the way at the bottom is your power lift gate function, and then right here is your panic function. But let's take a look at what the driver's side door panel has to offer. So this is what it looks like from afar. Now let's kind of zoom into it. So you get a satin chrome looking door handle, you get two memory seat adjustment settings, you have your unlock and your lock functions. This particular vehicle has been optioned with the $800 Harman Kardon premium sound system. So that is what the Harman Kardon speaker surround looks like. It's like a dark gray brushed uh, speaker surround. It looks very premium. And then all of this area that I'm pointing out with my pointer finger and my thumb is all leather wrapped. You get a nicely padded armrest. And then pressing the L and the R buttons right here simultaneously will power fold in your side view mirrors. This is your also your uh, side view mirror controls. Automatic up and down windows at all four corners. Pressing on this button will restrict your passenger window privileges and it'll also restrict the access to the second row passengers from opening up the door in the second row. So take a listen. Now, instead of having to fiddle down here and you know put your child lock on like that, you get a power child lock. So basically now the second row passengers are not able to open up the doors from the interior, but obviously you can open them up from the outside. So that is what that button does. And then you get a little bit of miscellaneous storage space at the bottom of your door panel, as well as another speaker. This is what your um, door sill looks like. It is a brushed aluminum Volvo door sill. It looks very, very nice. 
taking a look at the driver's seat and the front passenger seat, both of which are power adjustable and they both have lumbar. But stepping on into the interior, I wanted to show you what this sounds like when you fire it up. So I'm gonna close the door to start the vehicle, just to have your key fob in the interior, push your foot on the brake and then twist this to the right and take a listen. That is what it sounds like when it fires up. What's kind of interesting is that it doesn't like turn on like a normal vehicle does, you know, with the starter trying to start the vehicle up. Uh, it kind of just like turns on. It's very, very interesting. And if you've owned a Volvo, test driven a Volvo, or ever started a Volvo, you know what I'm talking about. Let me know in the comments down below if you know what I'm saying, but we're gonna start over here. Pressing on that button right there will open and or close your power lift gate. Then you also get a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. So push down on that and then the steering wheel will come towards you. The steering wheel will go away from you and then you can also move it up and down to your liking but i want to show you what the turn signal sounds like so let's take a listen to that that is what your turn signal sounds like i'm going to move the steering wheel down just a little bit so i have a better view not only is this your turn signal control stock this is also your fog light control stock for your front and rear fog lights it's also your headlight control stock your high beam control stock and your trip reset control stock if that makes sense so this button resets your trip information um, but let's go into our headlight controls so if you go all the way up and you kind of go like that that's going to turn your automatic high beams on do that one more time it's going to turn them back off and then that's headlights in the automatic position that's headlights in the always on position that is parking lights on and then all the way down is headlights off i like to leave it in automatic and um, then that is for your front fog lights and that is for your rear fog light and then again that's your trip reset button i'll get into that here in a minute this is what your steering wheel looks like it is leather wrapped and obviously at the center of your steering wheel you have your horn so let's take a listen to it that is what the horn sounds like on the XC60. So as standard with the Plus, you get Pilot Assist, which is essentially uh, a driver assist system with adaptive cruise control. Um, so here are your adaptive cruise control settings. And then on the right-hand side of the steering wheel, this is to volume up, this is to volume down, this is to go back on a track, this is to go forward on a track, but then these arrows also can control what's going on here on our screen. Um, so I'll get into that here in a second, but anyway, I'm gonna close back out of that. This is to control this screen. So you have two display modes with your 12.3 inch digital driver display. So right now this is calm. And now this is Navi. So basically displays your navigation stuff at the center of that. And then that is to speak to the vehicle. This is like your select button. So when I press on that, that will bring you into your trip computer so you can see your odometer. Then this is stuff that you can reset. And then this is stuff that the computer uh, of the vehicle resets itself. So again, I said you have a uh, trip reset button on the end of your turn signal control stock. So if I press and hold on that, all of these numbers are gonna reset back down to zero. So wait a second, reset completed. Now all these numbers are gonna be zeroed out. And then again, the vehicle controls that stuff. Um, and then you can also use these to control that screen. So you can see um, these double as a couple different you know things that they do. On the left-hand side, you got your speedometer. That's that's your digital speedometer readout. That's your speed limit sign. That's letting me know that my headlights are on. That is the ambient exterior temperature. That's letting me know that my seatbelt's unbuckled. That's like uh, driver assistance stuff. That's your fuel range as well as your fuel gauge. This is your tachometer. That lets you know um, if your 48 volt mild hybrid system is you know fully charged, which it is. But then it also like if you're you know coming up to a stop, it kind of like regenerative brakes, and it gives you like these blue arrows that kind of go up the battery. It's kind of an interesting thing. Um, and then this is your transmission status stuff. So that's kind of about it for what we got going on in the digital driver display. Now up top here is all vinyl wrapped. You get a Harman Kardon speaker surround at the center of your dash. And then coming down just a tad bit is where you'll find your nine inch Google-based infotainment system with wired Apple CarPlay connectivity. So going throughout this screen, this is your physical home button. And this is what your home screen looks like. So you get your map stuff, get your audio stuff. Then you have your phone stuff. And then you have um, like to speak to the vehicle basically. Up top here, you have the time. That's how much signal the vehicle has, or my phone has, excuse me. And then down here, will bring you into your second screen. So this is like your secondary screen. You can see everything like Google Maps. You got your audio stuff here, phone stuff, um, and then car status, air quality, yada, yada, yada. 
uh, owner's manual. And then all the way at the bottom, you can see that little camera right there. That will pop up your 360 degree view camera system. And then you can go out between your different camera zones. So that was my front camera. This is my rear camera. And then you can also go in between your side cameras as well, if that's what you wanted to do. You can also turn your parking sensors on or off. And then you can also turn your reverse automatic braking system on or off. And then that's kind of about it for that. Coming over to here, this is for your heated front seats. Heated front seats come standard with the plus. Um, so if you press this side, it's gonna pop up your heated steering wheel and your heated front seats, both with three levels of adjustability. However, on for the uh, front, front passenger, you literally just press that and then you can see those three lines turn on, basically letting you know that the heated seat has three levels of adjustability and it's letting you know which level you are on. And then at the center, if you want, like, hey, where do I control the climate control stuff? You click right here, and then that's gonna pop up the climate control stuff on the entire screen. That is what your climate control screen looks like. To get back out of that, you click that, either the arrow right there that's pointing down, or you can click the home button. And then last but not least, you have that little gear down on the upper or uh, lower right-hand side of the screen, and then that will bring you into your settings. You can go between your driving settings. The really only drive modes you have and the only things that you can adjust is either you can go into off-road mode or you can make the steering wheel feel firm or you can make it normal. That's really about it for that. And then coming down just a little bit, you get this beautiful open pour wood grain trim. It feels and looks very premium. And then that is your uh, hazard button, front defroster, rear defroster. That's to go back on a track. That's to go forward on a track. This is your volume control knob. And then if you press that button at the center, that will either play or pause on a track. Opening this up, great spot you could set your key fob you get a 12 volt power outlet right here another spot you could set a key fob or miscellaneous items you get two cup holders right here let's say your key fob battery ends up dying and you can no longer unlock the vehicle with it or you know start the vehicle with it you set your key fob down in here and then the vehicle will read the chip that you have in your key fob so it will still start up even if the key fob is dead and then this is what your transmission control thing looks like pull back that puts you in a drive pull back one more time and that will put you into manual mode. If you want to downshift, you click over to the left. If you want to upshift, you click over to the right. And then to go into park, push P. We're pushing P, and now we are back into park. This is to start or stop the vehicle. That's your electronic parking brake. That is your auto hold button. So let's say you're stuck in traffic. You're tired of holding your foot down on your brake by yourself. If you press this button, it's going to light up in green. Now, when you come up to a stop, the vehicle is going to hold you in place by itself with its braking system and then all you got to do is press that button again and it will turn right back off you get a nicely padded armrest opening up your armrest you get a little bit of miscellaneous storage space down in here really not all that much space and then you also get two usb-c ports down in here as well working our way over to our glove box you do not get a lockable glove box but you get quite a bit of storage space in your glove box Working our way up to here, you get a frameless and auto dimming rear view mirror with your universal garage door opener at the bottom of this. So if you own a house with three different garage bays and you can open up those three different garage bays individually, you can open up those garage bays individually again with these three different buttons. And then you get your Volvo on call stuff, basically like roadside assistance, that button and that button. That lets you know if your passenger airbag is on or off. Driver gets a light, passenger gets a light. To turn on all the interior dome lights, you click this button right here and now all the interior dome lights will turn on press that button again and they will all turn back off um, and then as standard with the plus you get a panoramic roof all you got to do is put your finger there kind of like lightly touch it and the shade is going to go back if you want the sunroof to open up you got to apply a little bit more pressure and then the sunroof will open up as well like it's doing one more thing i wanted to show you with the sunroof i'm not going to open it up all the way but if you press right here it's going to tilt so now the sunroof is tilted if you want to close that you press right here and now the sunroof will close Opening up your visor, you get a vanity mirror with a vanity light, as well as a little clip right here. You can set any small paper product. However, these do not slide forwards or backwards. So that's all the coverage you get. Again, they don't move forwards or backwards. Driver gets an Opu handle over here, as well as the front passenger also gets an Opu handle as well. Um, and then there were a couple things that I wanted to go over um, that this particular vehicle has been optioned with, as well as what you get standard with the Plus. So again, this vehicle has been optioned with the $800 Harman Kardon sound system, as well as the $750 climate package. The $750 climate package gives you heated rear seats, a heated steering wheel, and the headlight washers. A couple key features that I thought were important that come standard. These are. Just 
just a few. Um, you get the 360 degree view camera system, you get the panoramic roof, you get the pilot assist, which is basically like adaptive cruise control and any driver assistance feature. You also get interior high level illumination, which is basically like ambient lighting. And then you get the front side and rear parking sensors. And then last but not least, for 2024, you now get the air purifier as standard on the plus and the ultimate trim levels. Now I'm gonna throw the entire window sticker on screen. I suggest you take a look at the safety and security stuff because you know Volvo kind of prioritizes safety. So take a look at all those different safety features that you get. Uh, but basically I'm just gonna highlight the MSRP. So the MSRP of the way that this particular 2024 Volvo XC60 B5 all wheel drive plus start theme is spec is. $55,455. Let me know what you think of that price in the comments section down below. But I do wanna show you what we got going on in these rear seats before we moved into the driving portion of the video. So taking a look at the door panel back here, looks very similar to what you'd find in the front. You get automatic up and down rear windows, like I mentioned. That is as far as the rear windows go down. Satin chrome looking door handle. You have a lock button back here. You get a nicely padded armrest and a little bit of miscellaneous, well, miss miscellaneous storage space at the bottom of your door panel. This is what your second row seats look like. Now stepping on into the interior back here, you get an HVAC vent there. Obviously you also get one on that side as well. You get a seat back pocket behind the driver's seat. You get a seat back pocket behind the passenger seat. Just keep in mind they are mesh. Um, then up top here, you get an no poop panel, a spot you could set your dry cleaning. I'm not sure what that is. Let me know in the comments down below. Then you get your dome light and another spot you could set your dry cleaning here on the B pillar. With the climate package, you get heated outboard second row seats, both with three levels of adjustability. So this seat is heated and my seat is heated. The center seat is not heated. Then you get a center fold down armrest that is nicely padded. And then you also get two cup holders as well. That is what that looks like. And then you get some connectivity down here. I believe it's two USB-C ports. That is what that looks like. This is the amount of legroom that I have behind myself. I am adjusted behind myself. I am five foot nine. I've got plenty of legroom, plenty of knee room. You can see there as well, as well as plenty of headroom left over, as you can see as well. But you know, we've talked about the exterior, we've talked about the performance, and now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior of the XC60. So I wanna see what this thing's like to drive as I'm assuming you guys do as well. So I will see you guys in the driver's seat all right now onto the driving portion of the review where i always start here we go over these speed bumps at five miles an hour and then i rate them on a scale of one to ten nothing will ever be a ten because perfection doesn't exist in this world the low end torque of this motor is also awesome let's see how it does on the second one at about five and i'm going to give this thing an 8.05 on a scale of one to ten it did very well over those speed bumps um, and these these things just ride very well now let's do a little body roll test yes you can definitely tell there is some body roll with this vehicle however what you give up in handling you get in comfort when you're driving down the street when you're driving down the highway so now let's merge out onto here and let's see what the power level is like with just a maybe 20 percent very good little acceleration there. It almost sounded like there was like a little burble in between the shifts. I've noticed that before with Volvos. It's like they, they almost like incorporate a little burble and it's like, well, I wasn't expecting that. Um, so yeah, I do definitely like that. I think that's pretty nice. And then once this light turns green, I'm gonna do a nice little acceleration, maybe let's say 60% throttle. But I did wanna say the Harman Kardon sound system sounds very, very good. However, I actually, I probably shouldn't even say this because you can't even get the Bowers and Wilkins on the plus. You have to act, upgrade to the ultimate in order to get the Bowers and Wilkins. But the Harman Kardon sound system does sound very, very good. However, if you really, really appreciate sound when you're driving down the street, you might want to look at maybe getting the ultimate. I'm just throwing this out there and getting the Bowers and Wilkins. Now here's a 60% pull. You can see pretty dang good acceleration. It gets you up to speed very, very quickly. Um, and then it also gets really good fuel economy as well, which is definitely a plus, um, a plus on the XC60 plus, but it really does. It rides great. It's pretty dang quiet here on the interior. Sound system is really good. I think this thing looks killer. I think this is one of the best looking SUVs 
um, at the price point, in my opinion. Uh, it's just very sharp looking. It's very professional looking. You know, you can pull up to work and you could have, you know, one of the nicest cars in the office lot and you spent less than everybody else, you know, with their BMW X3s and all that kind of stuff. They spent 60K, maybe 65, and you're spending a little bit less than that, but your vehicle looks better. The sound system is better. Well, maybe not better, but the sound system is great. Um, it's just a, it's an awesome, awesome vehicle, in my opinion, for the price point, because yes, the interior is simple, but it's just also very elegant at the same time. And that's what I always say when I do videos with these Volvo products is that it's very simplistic, you know, and that's something that when you get into like the BMW stuff, there's just too much stuff throughout the screen in the BMWs. There's a lot of buttons here uh, in BMWs and stuff. And I just like when stuff is simple and, uh, this is definitely simple and I really like that and I think that's a plus nowadays everything seems to be so complicated when it doesn't need to be um, and that is why I really like this yes I do wish the infotainment screen um, I do like the size of it but I do wish like I had physical climate control buttons rather than having to go throughout the screen however it's really not that difficult to navigate throughout the screen and you know turn your climate control stuff I actually made a same complaint about this um, in the video I did the other day with a Lincoln Corsair because they got rid of their physical climate control stack and they brought it all into the screen it's like no you guys need to do the opposite and leave the physical climate control stuff again that's my personal opinion you can agree or disagree with me in the comments down below but here's about five to 15 seconds of me not talking so you can listen to the road noise. Soaked up those bridge joints very, very nicely. I mean, it almost went it over like those, like they were nothing. Um, and you could also hear like going over that concrete bridge. It wasn't that loud in here as well, which is something that's nice. And that's something that Volvo pays attention to uh, is the interior road noise. Now for a $55,000 vehicle, I think this looks and feels very, very premium for that price because you know, Honda's now, you know, like the Tourings and stuff, they're approaching $55,000 with their top trim levels. Um, and this is definitely put better together than a Honda. Now, reliability wise, I think the Honda is going to win, you know, nine times out of 10. But these things are also pretty dang reliable as well. Um, so take with that what you will. But I got to say the fit and finish and the look of this is obviously better than what you get in a Honda. My personal opinion, here's a nice little normal acceleration. And I really don't even have to push my foot into the accelerator in order to accelerate with everybody else in traffic, which is very, very nice. Um, so here's another little pull. Barely getting on it and it just, it just goes. It really does, it just accelerates. Um, and I think, you know, you'll be very happy for this kind of power level in a daily driver. I mean, I know the numbers might not seem all that, you know, oh, crazy, um, but it actually does have really good power. And it's more in like the low to mid range power level rather than up top. You know, once you get up top in the RPM range, you're like, okay, well, it kind of falls flat on its face. However, you know, how many of you guys are really gonna be doing zero to 80, zero to 100 pulls, mile an hour pulls? Probably not that many. But how many are you going to be driving in town from stoplight to stoplight, you know, trying to pass somebody like this and you just need a little bit of low end to mid range power? That is kind of where the motor or the engine is optimized um, is low to mid RPM range. So I think that's great for city driving. I think that's great for daily driving. Um, and it definitely makes a difference, you know, when accelerating with other cars at a stoplight. I mean, you don't really have to push your foot that far into the accelerator in order for this thing to get up and for it to go, which is very, very nice. And then also, I mentioned this already, but the miles per gallon in this are really, really good considering what it is. You can see, see how it's like regenerative braking and like those arrows going up are blue. That's kind of like the regenerative braking for the 48 volt mild hybrid system. But once this light turns green, I'm gonna do a nice little, you know, maybe full throttle acceleration. You know what, we're gonna do a full throttle acceleration. Uh, let me just get straightened out here and then uh, I'm just gonna floor it, floor it.
So you can see what I'm saying. See how like in the higher RPMs, it really doesn't move all that quick. That's because it's more optimized for like the low to mid range RPM. So like I'm saying, when you're doing a zero to 60, you're like, all right, come on, let's get to 60. But when you're doing just like normal accelerations from stoplight to stoplight, you're like, dang, this thing actually has quite a bit of get up. And uh, so yeah, just take that with what you will. You know what I mean? Like zero to 60 stuff, it's kind of slow. But just like from stoplight to stoplight, traffic light to traffic light, and you know, passing power at you know 45 miles per hour, it has really good power. And I think you have to test drive it to see kind of what I'm talking about. So if you're gonna test drive one of these or you haven't test driven one yet, but you're looking at test driving one, do what I'm saying and just give it like a normal acceleration, you know, but a little bit more than a normal acceleration to kind of like beat the flow of traffic and then do like a zero to 60 pull and I think you'll see exactly what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, sound system is great. The ride is awesome. It rides very nicely. Handling department, you know, it could definitely handle better, but what you lose in handling, like I said, you make up for in ride comfort. Um, so overall, I think this is a great looking vehicle. I think it very well uh, put together. I think the sound system is good. Again, this has the $800 Harman Kardon sound system. I love how all, you get a ton of features as standard with the plus. Um, so yeah, that's my opinion on this vehicle. But that's it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I'm on my journey to 100,000 subscribers and I cannot get there without your support. So if you've taken anything from this video, if you've enjoyed this video in any sort of capacity, please take a second, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I truly do. But like I said, that's it for today's video. I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.